Once again, welcome to my practical hands-on labs, and today I will walk you through how to calculate running averages. This hands-on session is part of the digital course data analysis using Excel. A running average is an average that continually changes as more data points are collected. It is a technique of getting the overall idea of trends in the data set. It is extremely useful for in forecasting long-term trends, and I'm going to use um, a fictitious company uh, that has been collecting customers across the year, um, specific uh, number of customers between January and December. Now, to illustrate a running average, we're going to do average. You select the cell and then specify the average. In this case, you're going to choose uh, B2. Um, and we want to change, we want to, since we want to make this an absolute reference as a starting point, uh, we will make it, uh, we'll convert it to an absolute reference either by pressing F4 or press, uh, manually adding it the way I'm doing it and specifying the value. Yeah, so for the first month, uh, the average is the same. Uh, to, to pick average for the others, as you add a new data point, let me say for the next month, February. So what it does, it adds these two and gets the average. Yeah, and gets the average. And then as you add more data points, like uh, now for the month of March, it takes the, the three values, and derives the average. Yeah, and uh, the same is uh, calculated all the way auto populated. So, making a calculation of running average using Excel a very, very simple uh, process. The next time is um, I'm going to illustrate a three month running average. So, the question would be. What would necessitate a three month or even a four month or even a six month or even a two month moving uh, running average? So within the, within the course of uh, the year, you might have some specific events like promotions that would uh, somehow uh, result to a higher figure for a specific month and that would uh, affect the running average. So you might want to combine uh, this uh, average across uh, a longer period than a month. And this case, it's, uh, for instance, uh, three months. We have picked three months. So we will do average and collect uh, the average for the first three months, January, February, and March. And then we will know that the, the average for these three um, comes to 5884. And since we want the same to be replicated uh, for all, but now this is running average for the all uh, to the end of the year, that is how uh, the results that you will get. Now, when you select the final, uh, when you select the final value, generated value, you'll notice that uh, it actually does the average for October, November, and December. That's what I had for you today on uh, running averages. The next practical hands-on labs uh, with me will be an illustration of central limit theory using Excel. If you want to get notification on um, uh, my practical hands-on labs, uh, whenever I upload them to my channel, I request you to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Until next time, goodbye.